Good morning, everyone. I am Mitsuko Mikame uh, from San Jose Buddhist Church Betsim. I'm grateful to all of you for inviting me to this Kisara Kiki service this morning. So at the beginning of my Dhamma talk, I'd like to share the, uh, I'd like to read Wasan hymn written by our founder, Shinran Shonin. Please show me in Gasho. Of those who encounter the power of a primal vow, no one passes by in vain. They are filled with the treasure ocean of virtues. The defiled waters of their blind passion no separated. Namo Amidavts. Namo Amidavts. Namo Amidavts. Namo Amidavts. Namo Amidavts. Thank you very much. So today we are here to observe the special spe special service in honor of Ta Lady Takeko Kujo, who was born as a sixth child and youngest daughter of Monshu Myonyo. Otani Koson. So the memorials, Memorial Day for Lady Takeko Kujo is on February 7th. That day was set the day as a Fuse no Hi or the day of Dana to commemorate Lady Takeko Kujo who was devoted to the, the volunteer work. As you know, she started the acti activities which led to the establishment of BWA, uh, Buddhist Women's Association. So through this opportunity, I'd like to share the idea of Fuse or Dana with you. One of the key actions of Buddhism is Dana. So this is related to the word donation, but also Dana uh, includes a sharing, uh, even self, selfless giving without worrying about getting something in return. This is a story when I was still a university student in Japan. I was living in Tokyo. So when I was still a student in university, I worked part-time job at Baskin Robbins in Tokyo because I loved ice cream. I am ashamed to dis say this, but I worked very hard at the Baskin Robbins to earn money rather than studying at university. I should have studied hard. Although I worked hard, I was very I was not very rich because I spent money for traveling overseas and uh, playing with friends. One day, when I look when I check my saving account, I realized that I have only two hundred fifty dollars in my account. I was very shocking. I was very shocked to see the number because I, I had still more three weeks to the next payday. But at the time, I really wanted to buy presents for my mother to celebrate her 50th, 50th uh, birthday. Although I didn't have much money, I really wanted to buy something nice for my mother. So visit an apartment store, a department store, sorry, department store in Tokyo, just like Macy's and looking at the shelves of the stores. And I imagine her smile when my mother receives her, the gift from me. I finally, uh, and I finally find a good one, good, a nice purse for her and I bought it. How much do you think it was? It was about $150. I know I was a little bit stupid. That mean, I had to survive with only $100 for the rest three weeks in that month. I submerged on her present to express my gratitude. So having my present gift wrapped and put it in my bag, I left the shop. As I, as I was very satisfied that I have been able to buy it for my mother and I was very tired at the time. I accidentally fell asleep on the train. And then when I woke up, I realized that it was a station where I was supposed to get off. Hearing the announcement, I tried to, I tried to get off the train immediately. And I could get off the train safely and then went out the ticket gate as usual. When I was shop shopping at the supermarket near the station, train station, I suddenly realized something wrong, something strange. 
That is that I didn't I didn't have my bag. As I, as I said earlier, I put my mother's present in the bag and I visited the lost and found at the train station soon. And I asked the train, uh, station attendant if they found my bag or not. I guess that I, uh, I guess that I had left my bag on the train because I had been in, in a hurry when I got, when I had gotten off the train. But I realized it was, uh, it was 20 minutes late after uh, getting off the train. So I expected that someone kind might have picked it up and brought it to the lost and, lost and found because sometimes peop some people can get it back even they lose something in Japan. So I expected miracles to happen. However, unfortunately, I couldn't find my bag with my mo mother's present. Since I put my uniform for my part-time job, Baskin Lovins, uh, with the with the, in the bag, so eventually I lost both of them. I was not only very shocked to lose the present, but uh, but also I was very disappointed at my stupid behavior. I originally planned to send it, send the gift to my mother as a surprise gift, but I couldn't. So I called my mother on her birthday. As I told my mother about what happened to me, my mother said like that, like this. Don't worry about it. Although I couldn't receive your present, I'm already happy to receive your heart, kindness. When I, when I cried on the, on the phone, my father, who is the head minister of my family temple in Japan, Sit like this. Okay, let's go. I know how you feel. Why, why don't you think you did a big dana for someone else? And you should try, you should try to forget about it. Although I hadn't learned the teaching of Buddhism yet at the time, I didn't care about my father's, uh, father's word, dana. But my mother, mother's words encouraged me a lot. Reflecting upon the incident, I can understand his meaning of dana now. As I said at the beginning, uh, dana means sharing, even selfless giving without worrying about getting something in return. I realized that my father's word at the time helped me to enhance my understanding of the meaning of dana. However, although it has passed over, uh, passed over 10 years. Uh, I still remember this as one of my shocking, memor shocking memories until now. Maybe this is a heart, my heart of attachment. So my, uh, my Buddhist teacher in, to uh, in Kyoto, uh, Japan, taught me that true dana should be done by one's hula's, hula's dedication, dedication at the time without worrying about getting something in return. Dana does not just mean money, and this is not something only rich people can do, but anyone can do, do with one's fullest, sincerely, and dedication, dedication. In Mahayana Buddhism, Dana, donation, is regarded as one of the practices to be free from detachment. Of course, the state of practitioner's mind is important in this practice. But the state of the receiver's mind also matters to the completion, completion of the practice, dana. Even you, if, if you, even if you practice dana, uh, so if if I, as a receiver, judge the, the dana whether it is enough or less, it would run, run, running it hit, uh, the dana. So when we receive someone's kindness as their dana. It is important for the receivers to accept it as it is with the heart of gratitude. Although I wish I could always live with the uh, live with the pure spirit of dana, I would I would say my true nature might be the furthest away from this. We human beings have busy mind changing one after another according to the situations, because of our blind passions, ignorances, and sufferings. If the other person's uh, attitude is dis dis uh, uh, dis uh, dissatisfied, 
uh, we can get angry, angry at, it, at it at the next moment. Then how can we see dana in Jodo Shishi tradition? Dana is regarded as our requirement to be born into Buddha. If you think you already, already are able to serve others without thinking about return, I admire you from bottom of my heart, and I bet you might, you, might, you might be the closest person to Buddha's revelation. As I said, I'm a furthest person from the pure spirit of Dana and Buddha's revelation. Those who turn their back on Buddha were supposed to be left behind in the turbulence of sufferings. However, Buddha sees and knows every, everything about us and promises not to abandon anyone because Buddha sees each each life as it as as if it was our uh, as it was own life. No separation between us and Buddha. That is why Buddha wishes for all of us to be free from the sufferings and assure us to be born into Buddha. Buddha tells us our assurances with the resonance of our voice, Namo Amida Butsu. We can say that Namo Amida Butsu is Amida's Adana to every living thing, which is the fullest dedication to each of us here and now. Never asking us for the way of our living, our way, uh, the way of our living. Buddha always embraces us with Namo Amida Butsu, which is full of Amida's deep wish for us, wisdom and compassion. So if it is a dana, what we can do is just receive it sincerely with the heart of gratitude. Could you join me in reciting Nembutsu? Thank you. So my reciting Nembutsu, Namo Amida Butsu, and your reciting Nembutsu, and your reciting or hearing Namo Amida Butsu are full of, full of Amida's wisdom and compassion, same wisdom and compassion. As I mentioned, receiving dana can be considered as the important part of dana, as receiving dana is also dana. We are all included in the same Buddha's wisdom and compassion. So dana is valued as an important way of living for Buddhist, Buddhists to pay back Buddha's assurance in our life and live our life, uh, live our life to, uh, to the utmost through, the, through practice in dana, just like Buddha's compassion. Anyone can start anytime, even if it is a small thing. It can also be the donation of the time. Just being there in the temple is a donation of time, body and time, as is quali quietly listening. Using gentle words and doing gentle deeds are also the donation of gentle words and smiles. Anyone can start dana anytime, anywhere, without, without money. I'm also fortunate, fortunate that I have been learning the spirit of dana through our sangha, sangha's way of living, not only through uh, material gifts, but also through their kindness, smiles, and gentle words, we can accept and nurture each other within that Amida's, Buddha, Amida Buddha's compassion. Not only serving a self-giving to, to your utmost, but receiving the dana with the heart of appreciation is also important dana. Again, receiving Namo Amida Butsu with the heart of thank you is also important dana for us, Jodo Shishi followers. I hope we, able, we will be able to share the spirit of dana with more and more people all over the world. Thank you for listening. I'd like to conclude my Dhamma talk with Kasho. Namo Amida Namo Amida Namo Amida Namo Amida Namo Amida